Okay, that's dirty. Okay, baby. Okay. Oops. It's thirteen more. Thirteen. Boom, bitch, let's go. Aye, hey. Tokuni Matches to insert his stairs at a golden gauntlet buried within one of the Grand Slifer storage rooms. Uh it's a legendary do -do -do -do. okay. After failing to manipulate six, the weapon became unresponsive. He has been interred around uh, among the uh, old boxes ever since. Okay. Flashback? Yes. Okay. Alright, flashback. I don't want to see flashbacks. I know what happened. The Eternal hears the patter of footsteps behind him. He turns away from the weapon to see who called him. <laughs> that was a delay. Yo, what's up? Gazes at his hands and he and he clamps up. Sorrow, Lyria, V look at each other with concern. Oh, no. Ah, Oh, あの夜。俺は六王権の声を聞いた。うん。六王権の声ですか武器が喋りたいっていうのか。にわかには信じがたくとも無理はない。俺とて。己の耳と精神を疑わなかったわけではないが、どうしても現実だったように思えるんだ
Because it's sad that he can't play PoE. This <laughs> only Luca, I know, right? Six B rays, the weapon covering his hand. Meanwhile, looking at a gleaming metal glove gives uh, Sora an idea. Can I see it for a sec? He's curious to see if the gondola will speak to someone other than Six. Sora trusts Six to jump in and stop the weapon if he tries anything funny. The Eternal doesn't speak for a while, but with Sora's stare digging into him, he sighs in defeat. Okay. Several days go by. There is no immediate reaction from Six uh, Fist uh, after Sora takes ownership of the weapon. Decides to expose the Fist to action by undertaking a monster hunting uh, request. Okay. So now I'm a Luka. Yep. Time for smacking Akasha. I heard a voice. The MV look around for anything could be a uh, sound. Finally, they heard it for themselves. The trio have never seen the weapon act this way and it leaves them speechless. Hmm. Yep. The gondola falls silent again, offering no response to V's inquiry. Oh damn boy! Ah, oh, damn boy! Him. Yep, just for him. Bam, baby! Let's go, dude! <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot. What was his upgrade? Oh! It gives him stacks. Two stacks. It gives him two stacks per on Ogi. Sick! Alright, next. Thank god I did all this, chat! <laughs> Thank fuck for that! <laughs> I was ready, baby! I was fucking ready. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh, let's go! Now, what's the requirement? Is it just that? Wait, what? Oh, I need to get him to fucking. Wait, what's the requirement? <laughs> Oh my god, the level requirement. <laughs> I don't have enough. Not like this, dude. Oh, only three levels. <laughs> oh no! Fuck! <laughs> Not enough levels, dude. Not like this, dude. That's all you need, huh? I guess that's kind of cool, I suppose. After defeating some monsters, Soro and the others here Six uh, finally speak. They quickly return to the Grand Cypher and tell Six the news. So, Yes, I feel I feel very gachy right now, dude. Mm. Hands up. <laughs> Capture the trust of six scrutiny. Uh, okay. Ah, 
やはり我にふさわしい使い手はお前の他にいない<笑>六方剣の神の力の代行者となるのはお前だ神の力だとお前は一体何いや何者だ<笑>我はお前だ何だと我はかつてこの手で多くの同胞を殺した。ああ、親も家族も。Wait, so this thing has a fucking past?What? <笑>お前と同じだろう、シス。生まれ持ったこの力で多くを殺し破滅させた罪人だ。Okay. The gauntlet, or rather the individual whom the voice belongs to, recounts their history with a hint of glee. <laughs> There was once a sky dweller who wore the gauntlet and fought in the war to the bitter end. Scores of astrals and sky dwellers, whether they be friend or foe, were slaughtered by the hand of the gauntlet. <laughs> Wow, this felt good. Wait, that's interesting. Because the ただかいに正義も悪もないあるのは勝利か敗北のみ絶対的な勝利は神からの声に身を委ねた先にのみ存在するはあ絶対的強者にのみ許される領域圧倒的な破滅オッケーシスお前にもその権利があるお前は我と同じく神からの器として選ばれた存在なのだわあお前はだってなっ6シスさんはいつだって私たちのことを守ってくれてだからそうだそうだお前みたいに人を傷つけたりなんかしねえ団長みんなお前たち The weapon scoffs at the crew members as if, if offended that anyone would dare refute its claims. Wow. Wow. So deep. <laughs> Oops. Oops. たちがどうあろうと関係ない。お前が六方剣を手にすれば、かつての我と同じようにお前も神の力を震えるようになる。そうすれば我はまたお前と共にあの快感を味わえるのだ。己の力によって世界を破滅へと導く優越を。貴様
so I need to remove some shit, eh? That 10% carry is making such a huge difference right now. Oh yeah, I should actually test to see if I can actually reach that amount without needing that much anymore. Yeah. Actually, that has the same amount of damage too from the one before. Even with Baha. Easy damage. Huh? Oh man, you know for a fact that getting him to 130 is making a lot of difference. He'll start at 3 stacks. <laughs> yeah, he's he has 6 stacks now. Everybody's trying out 6, that's why. <laughs> Everybody's uh, busy trying 6 out. Here you go chat, if you want. Yeah, it's 130 is actually pretty fucking sick because of that, that immediate stacks at the start, you know? That just easily allows him to burst so much higher too. It's fucking crazy actually. <laughs> Fucking insane, man. Oh, whoops. Someone dead? Yeah. I mean, he's like, he gets six stacks so easily now, that's the thing. <laughs> he has six stacks so easily now. His damage is so good already, you know. What the fuck? Random Xeno? Oh. 
You know, I'm already starting to think, it's like, do I really need a triple attack now, though? You know? I'm really starting to think that triple attack is not needed, though. Might as well just give him more HP or some shit. Yeah. Because I used to have it level. I already removed his triple attack and, uh... Ah, fuck off! What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, what the shit? I guess MC's dead. Oh wait, what? Oh no, Shalim's dead now. Or not, never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually haven't seen the full animation yet. <laughs> I'm only seeing the, the, the short animation. Season 2 or Dota? Oh, you mean the anime? I mean, he ended with a cliffhanger, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> I actually use 100 grains, man. Fuck, I just noticed. <laughs> Dude, just two fucking characters already put 100 grains, man. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is so sad, man. Grains are all down the drain. 